So today I thought I'd uh, give a little tour of the art park, which actually starts here in uh, in the Nether. This is a little art park extension. And uh, anyway, that was just the uh, sort of interesting stairway. And let's hop into the art park. Watch it pop in. Here we are in the art park. So let's get our little torch of pointing out and uh, start taking the tour. So I thought I'd start off with uh, the place called Pickup Sticks. And what Pickup Sticks is about is these giant sticks. I think they're all like 49 blocks long or something like that. Um, basically, they're back in the day when you could only go to 128 uh, blocks high. Um, some of these blocks are as high as you can go, like the uh, the lava block or the lava pickup stick. Obviously, the lava pickup stick is nice and simple. It's nice and straight up and down. Um, but the rest of these sticks go at these various crazy angles. And uh, it makes for an interesting place to walk through. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It's uh, Sometimes you get kind of stuck in this place. But uh, I think it's an interesting. It, it just gives a, an interesting flavor to the whole place. Anyway, so that's what that's kind of about. I try to make sort of one of everything. One of all the uh, different um, types of blocks at the time, uh, sort of organic blocks as it were. Here's just a little artwork. I was playing around with water and how it worked and I uh, was basically able to figure out ways to get the water to uh, obey me <laughs> and so do this kind of a uh, controlled flow. So here we have a nice simple diagonal pickup stick. and. Uh, the sun's setting, so I'll probably put a break in here sometime soon to uh, to make it daytime. In fact, let's go take a nap right now, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. We're back. All right. So, what's next is uh, this whole crazy thing. This was made back in the day when um, I don't really have a name for this thing. It's just one of those, and it's not particularly artistic. It's just like, I just wanted to see what it looked like to have this giant spiral going into the sky. You can actually climb this thing, as I recall. Uh, you can see you just kind of go and keep climbing like so. And, uh, you know, you can do it, and you can get to the top. Um, it's just kind of an interesting interesting phenomenon. The cool thing is when you get up top, actually, let's, let's go up a little bit just so I can do this one... Uh, sort of daring thing that you can do when you uh, leave, <laughs> which is what you can do is... Eh! <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, basically what you can do is walk on the outside and just sort of drop, 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 drop down in without uh, getting too much damage. But uh, anyway, um, so that's just kind of a cool cool looking thing. Let's look at that as we as we walk away from it. It just uh, it just looks nice, basically. Um, it's just a simple simple spiral thing. Uh, this this is just a little. Uh, I won't bother going up this thing because a it's kind of a pain to go up. You have to carefully jump from spot to spot, um, like so. Uh, see, that's why I don't go up there. Uh, this is just made out of uh, shrubs. This sort of lovely little. Uh, stairway to nowhere. Um, what's nice about this one is that when you're up top, you can kind of come on down and just drop, 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 drop. Uh, there's a little video. I'll link it if you actually want to see me going drop, 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 drop. Um, this is the way up. Oh, what the heck. Let's go up there and do the drop, drop, drop. I forgot that I had this easy way up. So, this isn't anything really particularly artsy, but I just wanted to put it here in the art park because it was just sort of a nice nice place to do it. So you have this thing which kind of looks solid when you go down it from this angle. Um, it's like, oh, this is nice and solid, and you're just kind of dropping from place to place. But it turns out to be incredibly hard to go up, as we uh, showed. Or not incredibly hard, but it's just a real jumping challenge. But going down is no challenge at all. And it looks continuous, but then when you look back on it, you realize, oh, wow, I really could have fallen and died there. Um, so anyway, that's the, uh, I don't know, I call it the Fool's Walk, I guess, or something. Some I need some pretentious art title. Um, that's actually a whole theme that I have throughout Voxelia, is uh, pretentious artworks 
uh, labeled in various ways. We'll see some of them labeled here. Some of these I haven't labeled at all. I don't have a name for this thing. It's just a cool spirally thing that's nothing deep about it. Oh, I was going to say, this uh, the spiral thing was made back in the day when you couldn't really kill yourself very easily, like uh, um, or at all for that matter. Uh, that basically, um, that was made way back in the day in the beta where uh, there wasn't even death or, or damage or anything like that for, uh, for characters. So this is just a little highway. Um, it's a kind of a nice little highway in that it's very, it, it tries to be low key. It basically add, added things. Um, I added things only, only as needed and just tried to sort of have it organically fit in so that you're, you're quietly stepping along um, but without, you know, sort of an obvious uh, mark on the, uh, you know, on the, uh, how do I want to say, on the, <laughs> um, without a mark on, you know, doing the minimal amount to uh, to make something on the uh, the landscape. Um, anyway, it's uh, it's called the wank. No, it's, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I forget. But uh, but it's anyway just sort of this. I was trying to do this sort of uh, organic thing where I I try to not touch the uh, the landscape as much as possible, but yet go as straight as possible. And so it's just sort of a little challenge and sort of to see what what things will look like if I have that challenge. Um, this is nothing at all as far as I'm concerned. I don't even remember why I built this thing. Often I'll build things that are uh, like this um, because it marks. Oh, here we go. Really, it's just another mine. Oh, okay. So it's just a uh, it's just a sign of a mine entrance. Um, it's not really a artwork per se. Um, but of course, that's there's there's this whole theory that everything that's man-made is a uh, can be considered art if uh, seen in the proper light. Uh, Duchamp has this whole theory of ready-mades where basically he, uh, for example, he'll take a, a shovel and hang it on the wall and, uh, you know, they'll say, ah, oh, this is art. And they go, well, why is it art? It's just a shovel. He says, well, no, no, no. If you contemplate the form, if you sort of pick it out and decide this should be considered from an artistic standpoint, then it's art. And, and I actually buy that theory. And it may not necessarily be great art, but I do think there's this idea that anything man-made and then considered by man, uh, thought about as art, um, can be considered art. So, anyway, here we are at the next thing. This is uh, Barishnikov Boogie, it's pretentious artwork, number 277. It doesn't really have as pretentious a name as I'd like, but anyway, you can see what's going on here. It's just a bunch of signs. What's cool is that you can walk through these signs, and uh, there's then this, oh, there's an actual place to stop here in the middle. That's the focus, and, uh, and that's that. Anyway, this piece here is really the very first one in the uh, in the whole area, and uh, again, you can, if you want, you can climb it, and then you can drop down from block to block here, and it's rather a exciting, scary kind of drop. <laughs> but uh, again, it has that kind of theme. I think they, I, I think throughout this whole art park, I kind of have this theme of um, sort of the fool's progress, where you're sort of dropping, dropping, dropping. And you're sort of safely dropping and not really realizing how, how much danger you're actually in of dying. But anyway, so this is just the first piece. And uh, I forget, it has some pretentious name, but I forget what. Um, this is kind of a fun piece. Here's the one where I labeled it. Let's see. It does not signify. And uh, it's pretentious artwork number 822, which actually has no meaning at all. There's no, the numbering scheme is not at all in any order that I did these works. I just always picked a three-digit number for... Uh, the artwork. Anyway, this is just a cool thing you can do with signs. And that's about that. Let's see. So up here, you can kind of get an overview look at uh, what's going on. Um, below us are a number of signs in a big triangle. And uh, this is just, um, I don't know if you'd call it an artwork per se, but uh, it's just a little art project I had. It was supposed to be participatory art, which uh, no one really participated in. It basically is uh, um, Eric Cactus Seed was here spreading signs in a time of need. Well, I, j I needed signs. Really just an experiment. Happily, the server um, has not crashed from so many. Please do not uh, take, please do take signs, move them around, write on them. 
and well, no one did that. <laughs> so it wasn't very participatory. Um, basically, my character had a bug in him that uh, caused him that he had just uh, 256 signs on him. Basically, uh, we went from zero signs to negative one signs, and that caused him to have just a ton of signs on him. And so that's this is sort of where the signs went. <laughs> um, this was just a uh, really a project to see what it would look like if you um, dug a giant slit into the ground. And uh, what it looks like is a, uh, a giant slit in the ground. So, pretty exciting, huh? Anyway, this is just kind of a cool thing. This, uh, what's amusing here is that um, this actually leads to a tree farm. And the tree farm, uh, I won't go down there, but basically the tree farm, uh, trees actually grow through the walls. And so that's sort of what this is. It's kind of a joke. There's no tree actually attached to these. Um, trees just happen to, if you put them right next to a wall, they'll grow through the wall. So all this uh, shrubbery is actually just accidentally sort of grown through the wall, and you have to dig it away if you actually want to get to the bottom. And uh, that's what it says here is just feel free to dig through. So anyway, that's one way to this uh, to the bottom here. The other way you could actually go is to uh, walk along that glass wall at the top and walk to the very end. And it's supposed to be just a little bit of a joke. Like at the very end, you may not notice because it's kind of dark there that there actually isn't a glass block at the end. And you drop to the bottom, but there's a, uh, a pool to save you that, so you don't die. Um, here we have, let's see, just a traditional art gallery. And uh, there's nothing exciting here other than basically I wanted to have sort of one of every painting. And. Um, I wonder if some, I think some paintings may have disappeared. <laughs> There's an art thief out there. Uh, I think there used to be a painting here and here. Like, Notch actually had a bug painting where the painting had, like, um, no color at all on it. It was just uh, a bunch of background tiles. And I think that's what went here, and it's gone now, which is sort of interesting. I guess he fixed that bug. I hadn't seen that. I haven't been back here for a long time. But anyway, so that's what this is about. Just This is uh, sort of traditional. You'd enter from over here. And you'd walk in and say, oh, look, there's a traditional art gallery. And then you'd kind of, uh, this is just a little craft piece, whatever. Um, and then you'd sort of look around and realize, oh, wait, there's all this other crazy stuff going on. So what's over here? This is actually one of the hardest pieces to build in a certain way. All these other pieces have a certain obvious symmetry to them or a, a logic to them. Um, this one is much more in the, uh, in fact, this is sort of back when you could uh, walk up ladders uh, fairly easily. I don't think I can get very far up this thing. But um, anyway, the uh, the gist is is that this piece you can go up and up and up, and it was generated um, basically by a simple random rule. Basically, uh, sort of roll the dice, and I'd go either left, right, forward, or up. And uh, so that kind of took me on this crazy path. There's, um, there's also, and I don't think I'll go down there because you can get lost so freaking easily, is... Uh, there's a similar path uh, as far as digging down. There's a random path that goes on down. So what happens with that is, uh, you know, that you kind of get lost down there, <laughs> basically. Um, but anyway, this is just sort of, you know, trying to uh, to just have randomness control where things go. And uh, again, I sort of draw on uh, Duchamp, who I really like, Marcel Duchamp, um, where he, uh, in some of his artworks, would do um, let randomness kind of determine what, what bits of the art uh, actually look like. So anyway, that's what that's about. Uh, let's see. What's next? This one. Yeah, right. So this is, and uh, I, I guess I should go up there and probably die. Um, this is just the water table. It's uh, back when I first learned about how water worked, that uh, how you can control water and so on. This was just an experimental table to uh, let people, you know, try out different things with water. And the idea here is that you can uh, go and basically, so I, one layer of water goes down to the next layer of the table, down to the next layer, um, <coughs> and lets you sort of control water in various interesting ways. So parts of the water are built out. You can change the water, you know, sort of tables at any level to sort of see what the effect is. Uh, so here what we have is one where it's um, built out enough that it doesn't pour over this edge, but pours over the other edges. Uh, anyway, other people sort of played around with, uh, you know, what you could do here. Let's see if I can go down here and not die. That would be nice. The 
hard part for me always in this is, is actually staying in the water flow so I don't die. Oh, okay, there we go. And here's sort of just a nice view of, uh, of the art park through the water. I'm not dying for a switch. And uh, let's continue on. We're almost done here, so we don't have to... Uh, I won't bother taking a nap. So let's continue. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to come over here for a few reasons. Um, <coughs> one is simply, uh, right, so we're back at this uh, at this silly artwork, um, which I've changed, by the way, a few times. So I've, I've had it be various other things. I think I have another one down below. Um, let's see what I was looking for. I thought I had it here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Um, this is just another little artwork. And what this is, is, ouch, this is the, <laughs> the artwork of death, right? Um, this is just me getting rid of signs, actually. <laughs> but I thought it made for an interesting looking uh, piece, which is just these uh, this set of signs here in this sort of arc. I wanted to have this art flow, or this sort of a <coughs> flow of signs, like I wanted to have a little sign curve. Ha 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 Actually, I didn't think of that until just now. Um, anyway, to have this sort of curve of, of flowing signs. And that's about what that is. And let's see. Oh yeah, one interesting thing is very far away over here. <coughs> I'm going to start from up here. So you can see on that back wall over there. Actually, let, let's take a nap. We'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. And uh, what I wanted to do was show you a little thing on the back wall here. So here we are. You can see a very few large paintings on the wall there. Okay, so let's just keep watching that as we get closer. Now you see signs pop, more and more artwork popping in. There's still a few gaps. And as you get closer, it all fills in. This is just a, uh, a level of detail thing. Notch obviously put in something that as you get far away, only the large paintings would appear. But I thought this was kind of a cool thing that the uh, the person himself could determine what he's seeing by uh, its level of detail. Essentially, by pulling way back, he could see just a few signs, and by pulling in, he could see something, you know, different. So anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, the right, and this is just where you can see the whole thing. So you climb up here, and you can see the whole thing. And uh, anyway, let's let's see. Okay, here, here we go. Pretentious um, art piece. This is art for art's sake. And you walk on up and see it. The uh, the other thing here is I just put them in randomly. I basically just made a whole bunch of paintings and then dropped them in, and whatever it would appear would appear uh, without me really controlling it. Um, so I might not have done this if I wanted to have a controlled experience, but I just thought, well, okay, we'll just put them up random and see what we get by randomness. So that's that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, so here's another one of these uh, sign sine wave things, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so you can see it better from up here. This is uh, just showing how uh, Minecraft is such a world that, you know, everything is very angular and so on. And I, I realized, oh wait, there's a way that we can make nice curves in Minecraft just fine. And it's doing it this way. So this is, again, just another sort of repetitive piece, not particularly interesting. Um, again, you can climb it if you want sort of this big stair here and so on. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's nothing It's nothing particularly interesting in the sense that it's just more like a, a cool big thing, but it's very, very regular. Um, not much going on there as far as uh, thinking. <laughs> anyway, here is the final thing, which I'm going to uh, turn the sound up for, and uh, that'll be the end of the tour, so just a second. So see if you can name that tune. Um, so the the name of the piece is Treads and Risers Towards Kingdom Come. That's a uh, that's a hint. So here we go. And hopefully you recognize the uh, tune. Uh, well. Did you recognize the tune? <laughs> anyway, hopefully you recognize the tune, which is simply, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. Like my awesome singing. Anyway, so I thought that was just a fun thing to do. And there you have it.
Goodbye. See ya.